thrifted homeschool favourites. And obviously I'm a home editor from the UK and this is a collaboration hosted by our Sweetie Birds Home. And you can find their channel on YouTube and there will be a playlist that I will include in the description below. So please do check out all the other videos in the collaboration because some of their thrifted charity shop finds are absolutely amazing. The first thing I'm going to show you is these because these are one of my personal favourites. I found these. It was actually not a charity shop. I found these in the Tesco uh, book bin <laughs> and they had the full set. So me and history. If anybody who watches my channel or has followed us for a while, you'll know that I absolutely adore history. I'm addicted to history and we're very involved in living history groups. And these are just fantastic. They had the full set and I got them all for a pound. Yeah, you hear me right, a pound. All of these for a pound. I was well chuffed. Like These were my best find. They had the whole set for a pound as well. Like I offered more. But the lady on the thing at the time, the little table that she had set outside, said, no, no, you can have them all for a pound. Then the kids were explaining that we home educate. So these are absolutely amazing and I love them so much and I'm so grateful to that woman. So these were some of my favourites. I'll open one for you now. I've chosen to open this one because it'll probably appeal to most of the people who follow my channel regardless. So I will show you this one now. And this is the natural world, out of the wilderness, the Mediterranean world, the Chinese way, the plow and the cross, expansion and exchange, and the global challenge. These are the contents. And as you can see, they're literally jam packed with beautiful images, information, and it covers the entire period. one's about the mongol conquests and again takes you right the way through the history of the mongols you get the mongol horde rise of the shoguns slave sultans of egypt the western battled empire the baltic crusades and europe's new monarchies if you look through here tons of information here too and yes, I know we have the internet at our fingertips and you don't need books like this, but I enjoy books. I am a big bookworm, so I do like to teach my children. So I do like to teach the children multiple ways of doing research. So we will do online research and we will research from books too. But these personally, but these books personally are one of my best thrifted finds in my opinion. And these two games here were also found in the charity shop. This one's brand new and unopened at the time, and it was only five pounds. It's from Gift Aid, and I absolutely love these. Sorry, I've come up to the kids' game room. I'm a bit out of breath now. <laughs> I probably should have waited till I caught my breath. But these are brilliant because it's a fun way of teaching various facts, general trivia, general knowledge. They pick up different skills. I'm echoing up the drum kit. Sorry. The worst thing. In fact, I'll show you the drum kit. This will probably be the kids' favourite thrift shop find. And um, it was at a friend's charity shop. It just come in. So we went down and got it. And it's full set. We've got the other one there. We've got our thimbles up there. It's all the board games behind it. <laughs> and this is just one of the kids' favourites, shall we say. <laughs> If you watch my blog on game schooling and the use of using games in education, then you'll truly understand the learning potential that games like this can have. And charity shops are a wonderful way of picking them up. And we have a huge game collection that we use for game schooling. And a lot of that has come from charity shops. This one was another charity shop find. And as you can see, it's a map of the world. It's a game and you discover the world as you play it and it helps you learn the countries and cities of the world. We've not yet played this, to be honest. This is a recent one. So we'll probably play that later. Because I think this is great. And again, this was just a couple of quid. I think this was about £2 in the charity shop. 
You can't really say no that no to that, can you? Especially as games can be so educational too. And that's one of the things I love charity shops for more, to be honest with you, game school and activities. Anatomics, this came from a charity shop. And I think this one was actually 10p. And it was completely unopened. <laughs> Again, this is another one we've not played yet. But it looks really good and I'm quite excited about this one. Because it does look good. So there's different ways you can play the game as well. Different levels depending on the ages of the children. So as you can see, you spin the spinner, collect all the body bits you need to build one of the four body jigsaws. So skeleton, organs, nerves and muscles. But look out, you might have to give or swap one of your pieces with another player. And then in level two, you learn more about the human anatomy by answering multiple choice questions to earn the body bits you need. This is great. This is an amazing find. Perfect for any home educator, homeschooler. I'm sure you'd agree. It's not even being opened. Slightly ripped box. Let me see if we go. This is inside of it. It's never even been used. Some of the bits of like fallen off through movement, and I hope them bulbs are okay. Didn't even realize there are bulbs in it. <laughs> but it comes with everything you need. And Anthony's decided that he wants to go into electronics. So, this was a brilliant find. And it's made him a very, very excited and happy lad. <laughs> I also get clothes, um, shoes, bags from charity shops, even cookware, to be honest with you. In fact, I'll show you one of my favourite living history finds. Bear with me one minute. That. Look at that casserole dish. I could use that for living history events. It is perfect. So that's one of my favourite um, kitchen finds, should we say. But I find after Christmas is the perfect time to go. And just before as well, because people do a big house clearing before Christmas is coming. They get rid of all sorts. And then after Christmas, they get rid of anything that they think the kids aren't going to use. And unfortunately for them, but fortunately for us, it tends to be educational games and stuff like that, as you've seen what I've shown you, really. So they just get rid of things like that that people have bought for them that they don't want to use. And I take advantage of that. And so should you. <laughs> because it's brilliant. It just means you can build up your educational resources without breaking the bank. And as a parent that home educates on a very tight budget, because obviously I'm disabled, I'm also a student, it's very tight financially. So home educating on that financial restriction, shall we say, means I have to get clever and smart about where I get my resources from. And I find charity shops are brilliant for that. So these are some of my favourite finds. Let me know yours in the comments below. And don't forget to check out all the other collaborators, all the other channels in this vlog. And I will put the link in the description. Thanks for watching.